Hey everybody, welcome back to the weekly vlog. Today we're going to be talking about the schedule for the uploads for this week, some real-time strategy game update type things, another Fuck Canada Post story of the week, um, how I'm working on a retrospective of every series I've ever done, Balram updates, as well as some interesting news on going back to my roots on the channel. Schedule first, though, we have Kanung, Legend of the North, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I think you guys will really like that game. It's goofy and also very fun. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday, we have some Hearts of Iron 4 multiplayer with Alder Hill. Yes, that is finally back. We finally found time. 6 p.m. Tuesday and Thursday, some Crusader Kings, as well as on 3 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. As well as 6 p.m. on Monday and Wednesday, we have the previous week streams of Evil Genius and Thea the Awakening. Normally, there's also one on Friday, but uh, as I talked about before, there wasn't a stream on Sunday, uh, last Sunday, that is, because there was WrestleMania. For this week on Tuesday, I'm going to be streaming Evil Genius, Saturday, Thea the Awakening, and Sunday, SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. All of those will be at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. As for Tad, we passed $10, so there is the Tuesday stream for us. Again, it is a service you can see in the description where you can watch some advertisements on your phone or browser and get me paid in return. So RTSs, I've been having a real hankering to play more RTSs again. I used to play them a lot more on the channel than I do nowadays, and I thought I'd get into more that I'm less familiar with, as well as doing more content on ones uh, that I feel like I have a lot of experience with that aren't necessarily covered a whole lot online. A couple months back, actually, I was looking to get better at Rise of Nations Extended Edition, because I really, really like that game. And I found there's very little strategic information on it online. Um, a lot of the information on it is just very old forum posts from experienced players. It's, it's very disorganized and everything. No one really agrees on anything. And I'm pretty sure a lot of those forums are gone now, so there's very little information left out there and no real proper guides, so I've been working on a guide series for Rise of Nations Extended Edition. I want to get into Cossacks 3, which I've already played a bit, and it's pretty cool, but I need to give it more time. I'm thinking of getting into Age of Vampires Definitive Edition now that that's out, even though it's pretty glitchy. Um, hopefully it's getting patched a lot, um, but that's over on the Microsoft Store, which, God, is the first time I ever had to buy something on the Microsoft Store. What an awful surface. But the game seems fairly cool. It's a remake of the first Age of Empires. So I'm going to be getting back into some old RTSs. If you have any suggestions for me, then let me know in the comments section. The Fuck Canada Post story of the day. Um, so last week I ordered a few things on Amazon Canada. Uh, in the same checkout, I ordered a USB hub, a, a USB extension cord, and a new keyboard, because my keyboard is basically dead. It's, if you come to the streams early on the pre-stream, I always have to apologize for the Windows disconnect noise, because as soon as I move my keyboard a little, it disconnects and reconnects because the cable is so bad now. Um, so I'm just getting a new keyboard at this point. Mine's really old. Um, I got them all in the same checkout, same address and everything. Now, the... Um, the USB hub and the extension cord are both Amazon Basics things, so it was sent by Amazon itself. Those arrived in one day. And of course, because it's all in the same checkout, it's to the same address. Today, uh, the keyboard said it had a failed delivery attempt. Well, they mustn't have tried that fucking hard, considering I was home and no one knocked on the door, nobody rang the doorbell, and it's funny because it'll say, like, look for the posting to see, like, you know, what do you do next? Because normally they leave a notice that's like, failed delivery, and sometimes in the past they've put on my door without ringing the doorbell or knocking, they just put it on it and leave, because Canada Post is fucking awful. This time, there's no notice. Uh, maybe it's in the mailbox, which is in a different part of the subdivision. I don't know yet, <laughs> so I might even just need to call them. But this is ridiculous. Canada Post is fucking awful. This same problem used to happen all the time at my old uh, apartment. Except for the old apartment, they would just walk in the front door and just put the failed notice thing just on the wall <laughs> in, in the main foyer. You just walk in, they just slap it on the wall next to our mailbox and leave. Fucking hell. 
like they think they can just get away with it because it's like oh we're during it's during working hours we're not even gonna bother knocking i work from home and we had to call them so many times back in the day and just say your people aren't even like buzzing up or anything and they're like oh no they totally are and we're like no I work from home. I know for a fact they're not. And they're like, oh, we'll talk to them about it. They never solved it. Never once. Oh my God. How is it I've never once had a courier not be able to find my front fucking door? And yet I've never once had Canada Post find my door. It's not that hard, guys. So we're probably gonna have to pick it up. You know, the real shame of it is, um, <laughs> at our old apartment in Mississauga, we lived like two blocks from a Canada Post. Is it really that hard to get us our mail? Oh my god. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll probably pick up my keyboard tomorrow, I guess, because usually it's not available for pickup till the next day. But, who knows? Fuck Canada Post. So the retrospective, um, this is probably gonna be a long video when I make it, but I've been working on uh, an idea I had where, I mean, I've been doing Let's Play for like eight years now. I've been doing a video a day minimum for about seven years. I wanna do a little retrospective on every series I've ever done. Basically what I'm planning on doing is I'm gonna go to my playlist section of my channel and just talk a little bit about every single series I see on there. It'll probably be a really, really long video. It'll probably be really boring for most people, and most of you won't want to watch it, but maybe you could use it as a viewer guide? I'm probably going to start it from the oldest videos and then go to the newest ones, which means the first half an hour of the video is probably going to be like, Oh god, don't watch this, this sucks. Oh god, don't watch this, this sucks. Because I think I was shit for like four years of my channel. Like, it took a long time before I became even watchable. So, trip down memory lane. It's a shame it won't be good memories. So, Balram, I've been talking about this in my, like, this is the update on my gaming series videos I've done a few times. I'm probably going to do another one of those in a few days. Uh, I just wanted to make sure it was after March, because March, with the special streaming schedule, had, like, weird stuff going on. Um, Balram was a game that I played a little bit a long time ago on the channel, like, um, I want to say between eight months and a year ago. And it was really cool, but I didn't really know, like, was it good for a streaming format? Was it good for a Let's Play format? People seem to be interested in it, and I was interested in it, but it was such a weird game. Um, I've been playing it again recently, and I'm really getting into it. So I think what I'm gonna do is move it to a streaming format. Basically, I'm gonna just scuttle that playthrough, it was only two episodes in, and just restart it on streams. I'm not sure when, not this week, maybe next week, I don't know. Um, but it's really cool, actually. And funnily enough, I was um, planning on doing this for a little while, just today got a big patch. The game runs in 144 uh, refresh right now, which is really cool because the game was always like a little stuttery. I was playing it this morning to test out on the new patch and they also made it so it uses a new windowing system, which is way better than the old one. It's got like, you know, borderless windows now. And um, God, it's running so great now. It's just smooth as butter now. Whatever update they did worked great. So I'm really excited to play that for you guys. Lastly, I think I wanna go back to my roots a little bit, and I guess you can see that with today's Kanung uh, Legend of the North video. I, when I started this channel, it was never really intentional, but I used to play a lot of older games, especially older PC games, but also like Game Boy Advanced all the way to SNES and stuff. Like I, I played a lot of older games. Um, and part of that was just, I didn't have as much money as I have now. Not that I'm wealthy now or anything, but, um, and I was so small too that like stuff like Keymailer wouldn't send me games back then. So now I get more newer games. Um, but I really like those old games, especially those old PC games, like early to mid 2000s PC gaming was really cool. So I feel like I want to do more and more stuff like that on the channel. I think Kanung Legend of the North is a really obscure one. I'd be pretty surprised if many of you guys know that one. You pretty much would only find it in like a bargain bin group pack because it came bundled with um, Disciples 1, which Disciples is actually a really good game. Uh, Disciples 2 I let's played a little bit of on the channel a long time ago. Don't go watch that playthrough. It sucked. I want to stream through that one again sometime, by the way, because it also records like crap, but I have a new recording method that would get it just fine. So I could actually live stream that, and I think that game is better for live streaming than it would be Let's Playing. I learned quickly in that Let's Play, it's not a good game for a Let's Play format, it's much better for streaming. Um, 
But if you like uh, Heroes of Might and Magic, you like Disciples too. Um, I've played a little bit of Heroes of Might, Might and Magic 3, and it really does feel like it's just a not as good version of Disciples 2. Which I think Disciples 2 is inspired by Heroes of Might and Magic, but I enjoyed Disciples 2 quite a bit more. Um, so yeah, I think I want to get back to my roots and play a lot of classic PC games. I've also been... I've got Hammer and Sickle installed again, which is a really obscure, really fun one. And it seems to be running just fine, so I'd love to do that on the show someday. I really want to do Pharaoh plus Cleopatra on the show someday, which is a really fun Egyptian city builder game that I grew up with. I want to play more of these uh, older PC games, especially like RPGs and strategy games for you guys, because it's just really fun. That Rise of Nations Extended Edition, that's a remake of, I want to say, a 2004 game. Um, so, yeah. If you have any suggestions for games like that to play on the show, then let me know. I'd love to hear your suggestions, especially if it's on something like Steam or Good Old Games, where it's fairly easy to pick up nowadays. I'd really appreciate any suggestions that you have. Normally, I do this sooner, but I forgot. So I'm going to do it now. The Patreon shoutouts for everybody pledging $10 or up over on Patreon where they get beautiful rewards such as being in these videos and Minecraft server whitelisting and other such things. Gazali, Mad Librarian, Fire Biscuit, Zandak, Taco Man, Play at Bogart, Night Fury 15, The Jed Star, Jetstream, Conk Dunk, Sophia Orr, Kilrain, Victor, Wolf 20 KO, One Savvy Siren, Shauna, Tim, Kurenketa, Cyan Nolan, Lemonhead, Morgan, Disastra, Josh Brown, and Emma, thank you so much for your continued support. I feel like I said that really slow this week with very deliberate breaths between each one. I just... Out of breath today. I think my sinuses are worse than usual. Anyway, I need to get back to working on those uh, Rise of Nations guides. I, I've been practicing the game a lot. Um, it's just... I keep wanting to just make the first video, which is going to be like this massive tips and tricks one, where it's just like 30 or 40 or something tips that are helpful in the game that, you know, obscure stuff that you might not know as well, some more obvious ones for new players and everything. And I swear, like, I want to just do the video again already, but every single time I have another practice match, um, no matter how well or badly I do, I feel like another tip comes to mind. Like every day I write up, I write down another tip or two that I'm like, oh man, I can't do the video without that tip written in there. So... I don't know. I'm just going to keep playing it over and over until the tip, the tips stop coming to mind, you know? Maybe I'll split it into multiple tip videos, but I got to go back get back to working on that. So, thank you everybody for watching and until next time. Have a nice day.